Asiatic. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the attic. Next episode, as you can see, we got the man Dave Brody himself. Really? Welcome, Dave. Thank you. We knew we'd get you up here eventually. Yep, it was a bit of a struggle with you getting through the hatch. <laughs> getting through that bloody hatch. <laughs> but aye, right, we're up here. No crowbars or anything. No, so. no it was okay. okay <laughs> Not just... so bad. But anyway, welcome. Um, today we're going to be discussing and drinking a bit of the old uh, Brooklady. Mm. Is our distillery. Should we crack that open now? Yeah, Pour a dram and it. then we can have a yeah, carry on talking once we've done it. So Shit. the bottle today is Brook Laddie Waves, first edition. I don't know if you can see that. So I was doing a bit of research on this one. Good. Really. I had a, I had a quick one. I think it was 2006. Or was that when they shut? I don't know. Anyway, so this one is 18 ppm. Right. This is what I know, so it's lightly peated. Okay. Much more than that, God only knows. But I believe that when they carried this range on, they did away with peating it altogether. They stopped peating it now. So if you've got the newer version of Waves, you'd have one that's... Like I say, we always, let's do the guests first. Yeah. Dave, we've already been given Dave's mug, his mug. Yeah. Close. My the mug. glass, Dave's glass. Well, you've got the nice printer as well. Yeah, yeah. it's a nice one. It's same one as, same as, um. So does that make this yeah. a mug shot? Yeah, shot of mug. Yeah. Tumbleweed. Oh, yeah, we get it. I'm laughing on the inside. Dumbleweed. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I see that. And it's mine. I'm not going to have too much. Because it is peated. I'm not a massive fan of the peat. So yeah, we shall see what it's like. So, mm. what does it say? It's alcohol wise. Seven years old. Atlantic freshness, apparently. Well, I've, been, yeah. I've been known to be a bit fresh at times. It's weird that because it's not in the Atlantic, it's is, not, it? is it? No. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird that. And it's only 46% alcohol. Oh. So, what we do now, we stand it there. Dave, because then you yeah. get the benefit of the lights behind it to get it. Get That's effect. lovely. That's yeah, it's a quite technical. So. If I start lashing out with my elbows, that could be in danger. But, ah, uh, we'll be right. We'll move it in a bit. Okay. A bit yeah. But anyway, that's not a bad nose. Ka-ching. Ka-ching. Cheers, brothers. Hey. Ah. You guys have got a bit of a big glass full there, because that'll keep you going for a start. But you've got a whole bottle there, so there's no need yeah, to... Yeah, uh, there's no... No need to panic. But we've got other stuff as well. I believe Dave's bought so we dram, but we'll have a chat about that later on. So, Brook Laddie. So, did you say 2006? I can't remember now. I read it somewhere. It's been right in the core of when they were getting back up on the I feet. think it, yeah, 2006. Didn't they shut in 2006? Yeah. No, no, it wasn't. It was definitely 2006 then. It is. They, they reopened in 2001. That's right. They shut in 96 or 94. Yeah. One of them, probably, or two, around about look. I actually thought 93, but it's maybe... four or six, so I had actually yeah. had a quick look earlier on and yeah, they start, forgot, they've forgotten already. They probably started shutting in 93, right. but kept forgetting things. Yeah, where the so, key was. Yeah, so eventually <laughs> they, they be, they've definitely been shut by, your mate, by 96. Your mate bought it then, didn't he? Yeah, well, <laughs> not, straight away. Here, no. <laughs> not straight away. Not straight away. Let's leave that we, for a bit, shall we? We may touch on that in a little while. <laughs> right. Yeah, aye, aye. No, they did. They shot, they shot in, I'm going to say, 93. It might have stretched on. No, and they reopened older. in 2000, 2001? 2001, they reopened. Yeah. Now, they had the benefit of having old stock. Yeah. Um. The, essentially, the place came as a wreck, but with good stock and some of the warehouses. Um, and I think the peat, Rocks and Waves was probably about their first releases, which included liquid that was produced. Really? No. Well, after you, after the reopening. There's no okay. chance. There's right. like, that's exactly what I was going to ask. There's no chance there was any of that old there stuff. There will be here. some of the old stuff in it. There must be something. If this yeah. is seven years old. There will be I'm some sure of the old stuff it in it. 2006. So it yeah. Been. No, the yeah. one they weren't producing in... In, in 90, whatever the math says there, 97 nice. or 99 or whatever. Um, but the, there was there was older stuff was getting used to try and uh, humanise the, uh, the, 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 the young, young stuff. Raw, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but I honestly don't remember tasting the waves before. As I say, as soon as I told you I got this on the, um, on the I bought this on the uh, auction site, as soon as I told you, you were quite keen to um, mm -hmm. 
come and give this a go. We'll have to <coughs> sort you out a wee bottle to take away as well, if there's any left. Mm. Well, we'll just finish yeah. off with Canadian stuff and then we can just pull it all back up with. Oh. Charlie, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So Brooklady, eighteen eighty one, same as our place, same as yeah. Brooklyn Harbour, isn't it? Um, but when they did reopen, they've started doing the gin now, haven't they? But what I thought was well, the botanist gin for those that don't know that Brooklady actually the producers of that twenty two separate botanicals go into it, and yeah. Ugly Betty is the still, I believe. Correct. Um, but what we'd do, I think, rather than honing in on that too much, we'll actually do an episode later on, maybe oh, yeah, a gin yeah, we'll one, because we can bring in Nerebus yeah. gin and yeah, sure. lots of gin and, and botanist gin and do a separate Plus episode. Plus, I did yeah. absolutely bugger all research for this, so I go n nothing. Nothing at all, not even for the whiskey. Don't drink gin. So. Well, nor do I particularly, I'm not a big fan, but and we'll have a go for, for, we'll have a go. for the right. sake of and the, people at home. The beauty of, of you guys doing a, a gin episode as well is it will give the ladies... Oh yeah, no. who 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 might stumble onto to this? It will give them something to watch rather than just looking at the eye candy. <laughs> yeah, they're oh, they were problem. stepping up for this time, though. You know, <laughs> you're nice front and centre. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice well, well got a lovely gaze quite, in you. Yeah. Ah, thanks very much, Rodney. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the nicest thing he's ever said. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's never said anything like the, that. The only me. reason that I'm actually front and centre is because I'm a fat bastard. <laughs> We get Dave in the middle, we fit everything else around him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, Dave, Dave, just to let you know, anybody that's, um, Dave's got his own social media things that he does as well. So he's actually doing a re-recording of this as well. I think it's, like he said earlier, it might be more just in case there's a, a libel <laughs> for legal lawsuit reasons. or something. Yeah. comes out, he's got some record of his own. I'll tell you what, Dave, your phone is just full of, that looks professional, doesn't it, Rosas? Yeah. Ours is just like an old... Yeah, mobile phone, but yours is well professional. That well, I've I've got a, a a professional video app on the phone oh, yeah. that cost me two pound ninety nine pence. <laughs> so you know, you that's know that's penny, that's then. why you got all those numbers round about the edges of it, and that's probably not doing. That's where you're making ninety nine pence. <laughs> no, no, so. that's where so, I, question: What do you think of the dram? Anybody? Uh, I like it. I like it. You, you know, it's peated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, it's only 18 ppm. That's yeah. You'd think more, I would say. Well, yeah. More 25.30 to me. This that was, I don't know. Is that the grain? Is that in the glass? What's the idea? Who knows? Yeah, it's it's not easy to get hold of now, this. Apparently, there's a couple yeah. of places that sell it, but. It's actually not bad. The nose is super. I don't want to gulp it. You do, I or don't? I don't. I want to. It has to be slow. See, I'm not a big fan of the peak though, but that's my problem. As as the um, was it 1.8 million viewers we got now that they um, <laughs> no, we're down to 1.4 again. We went down to 1.4, but obviously, the, the no days, no days. Well, you know, watch the last time, no, 1.8 percent. But no, what I was I was going to say was, yeah, you know, you know, it's petered, but it's not that iodine. No, TCP, medicinal, that medicinal, medicinal of, yeah. um, but I tell you what, I don't get. I don't think on the nose it's not heavily peated. It's not heavy. I don't on the nose it's not overly peated to me at all. I can just put my glass near my nose. I'm not contributing anything past that. I saw your mum yesterday on the ferry. What's that got to do with anything? I thought I'd tell you. She said hello. No. Hello, Rod is his mum. Sorry, it was a quick chat, but yeah. first thing I did, she said to me, "said I'm Rod is his mum." I said, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> Have you got any porn stashed up here, by the way? Yeah. This, this looks like it would have an old supply of porn in this place, doesn't it? Like old black and white stuff aye, in the shoebox. Yeah, yeah, aye, <laughs> aye. Straight out the hedge. I think one <laughs> Jeremy's made a couple up here, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is our attic, Dave. This it's is nice. What do you think? I, I like it. I like it. it. The wall yeah, the, no, it looks, the, the wall looks real. <laughs> it does. It's it nice. should do. Yeah. But yeah, so I think cobwebbed it heavily when we first come up in. <laughs> it was pretty awful. But it's nice, isn't it? Uh, it's just a shower curtain there to muffle some of the light. <laughs> now, is it. it true, Brook Laddie, that Brook Laddie blue that the, the classic Laddie comes in, that is the colour of the water in the Loch and Dar when the guy came to look at, first came to look at the distillery to buy it and reopen it. Well, that's, that's, I, the, I, that's I how think, the rumour goes. I think what you have to do is you have to, to break that statement down and say, does it sound like truth or does it sound <laughs> well? Does what, it sound like marketing? But was he bollocks? drunk? Was he drunk? Yeah. Was he drunk when he yeah. flew over 
you know I mean? Because it's like um, Americans. <clears throat> yeah. To our, was it 2.6 million American viewers? It's like Tiffany blue is, is the colour it's most associated with. But, but yes, it's, it's Brooklady blue. But it's Admiral Marie. Tiffany blue. Oh, Tiffany. That's got me. Got all that's got me one of his actress friends, is it not? Ah, uh, of course. And, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. and I'm getting messages popping up on mine. Oh, that's it, yeah. Tiffany blue's already looked you up. Tiffany blue. That's Tiffany blue sending you <laughs> sending your friend that's request. That's the birthday of Jeremy Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Taster. Slange Tiffany. Aye. Aye. Like and subscribe yeah. with Tiffany. Come again soon. Or it could possibly just have been that given their propensity for painting things, maybe it was just like got a, a job lot cheap. Job lot. Yeah, job like lot. Del Boy maybe they got it a bit too yellow. The fanciful story was cooked up after you're saying. That wouldn't be quite honest. That would be... Well, it wouldn't be best honest. It it's would a just nice be... blue though. I quite like the colour. It is. To be honest. It is. It's... Um, there's no other distilleries that got that colour, is there? I've sounded, I've sounded quite negative about Brickladdy so far, and oh, really? and I'm actually a, a massive uh, Brickladdy fan. I really, yeah. really like the place. Non chill filtered. Yep. Yeah, the husband colouring a free. An ominous undertone to the comments. Is just... Yeah, no, no, it's okay. That that'll mellow out from this point on. <laughs> now that I'm getting. Are <laughs> oh, you were saying you were liking it? Though. Yeah. yeah you were saying getting, the, the oh, yeah. It's not a bad drama. Actually, for mm. me, who doesn't like his um Pete, it's, it's drinkable. This to me. The nose is lovely, absolutely lovely. I'm not getting heavy on the nose, not getting peat heavily. Well, I, I'm, I'm fortunate that I've experienced Brickladdy distillery products uh, at a time pre-closure. Uh -huh. So back in the the pre-1993, I believe four, I believe possibly six uh, time, uh, the range of whiskies was a whole lot more simple. Yeah, that'd have to be. Um, yeah, well, yeah. So, so you would get a 10 year old, you get a 15 year old, you get a 20 year old, you'd occasionally see 12 year old, you'd occasionally see 17 year old, but it was kind of effectively that simple. And they were fantastic. They were lovely, lovely whiskies. And for many a long year, the old Brickladdy 20 year old was my favourite dram. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. What you know? would be today? Out of a decent range what of things. What would be your favourite dram today, Dave? There's a question for the um, uh, public. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been the same dram now for probably 10 years, and that's um, and and that's before I worked at Bonner Haven, but it is a Bonner Haven, and it's uh, old acquaintance. Mm -hmm. So, sadly. About two and a half grand a bottle now. So sadly, you, well, get one. Yeah, yeah, well outside the price range or having any chance of tasting it again hmm. but but that doesn't um take away from the fact that that would be my favorite dram my ultimate dram hmm. um but recladdy 20 year old for for a long time prior to that one coming along for me um recladdy 20 fulfilled that role um the they've had a, a lot of criticism for the wide range of whiskies yeah you know i mean there was because it doesn't seem like there's actually that much variety there's a lot of labeling rather than actual yeah. variety of, of drams but yeah that's that's the case but but that was kind of down to the the fact that after they reopened um it was a little bit hand to mouth it was a little bit we really need to try and generate cash flow here yeah because we're running this distillery um and we're up against the big players and we're effectively trying to make things happen on a little bit of a shoestring. Is that also why they started the gin as well, was it not? Did, well, sure that's a quick it came, then, no, it? well, it came along a little bit further uh, down the line. No. Um, and possibly if if they'd stumbled upon the gin a little bit sooner, they maybe wouldn't have been under the same pressure yeah. to get whisk out onto the market. Mm. So, so you started to get in all sorts of different kinds of whiskies. And for the collectors, it must have been an absolute nightmare. You would get a year yeah. and there would be between 30 and 40 new releases yeah. in the course of a year. Ah, but is that, is that, I, at the time, I was getting annoyed by that. I didn't know enough mm. about how they were operating. In, in retrospect, is, is, it, is it possible that those bottlings were actually more distinct than I thought they were because they were experimenting with different grains and different, 
I don't know, different cuts and whatever they were. So they were I, I, I think the, the grain experimentation, etc., came along again a little bit further down the line once they were established, oh, right. once they had a, a good um, capital base. I mean, the, yes, they never had the, the financial clout of a multinational. Which is a nice but, story for them to be fighting for their lives like that. They did have some decent underwriters, you know. Mm. And they also had, um, let's call them, a very astute business mind running it. And that is uh, Mr. Rainey. Ah. Depending on how many more of these <laughs> I have, we may speak more. Yeah. Oh. Um, but, but sort of detecting a sort of a bubble. <laughs> burst there, is it? Do you not know the story? No, no, it doesn't oh, matter. God. It doesn't matter. Right now, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. No. No. In two drums a time astute, it might. Astute business but, mind. Um no he was. He was he was he was a really smart businessman and he still is. Um and the smartest thing that he did was he didn't put himself at the forefront of the company. He mm. got uh, got Jim. He got Jim McEwen, Uncle Jim, got Jim in up up front. Up front and how, how did you describe it? Up front and personal. fat oh, personal. No. Yeah. Um but but Jim was the the face of it. The he, he, was, he was the the, the kind of the leading mm. light in it, um, but but Mr. Rainey was was the businessman behind it. But they had issues where they had this reducing stock of old bloody lovely stock, mm. and they had the young stuff that they were starting to produce themselves. Um, they had to get that stuff into casks, so they used Mr. Rainey's connections from his 30 years or whatever it was in the wine industry. So you still get a lot of wine cask coming out of the Cladi now, um, across all three spirits, across the, the, the Cladi itself. And across, hard to get cask, like like off as, uh, high quality there. I think this started um, off in bourbon cask and finished in um, wine casks, I think. Wine, okay. Pretty right. sure it was. I'll have to It'd probably be a vatting, to be honest. Yeah. You know, they'll probably be old, old bourbon barrels. Mm -hmm. Free closure yeah. and all that as well. Um, I imagine the casks would have been a good quality, mm. but I think it was more a question of getting what they could, um, and that kind of then led on to having all these different, different, different mm. uh, drams. Uh, so you would stand a good chance of finding something in all the mess. You'd find something. Like, oh, that would just leap out at you. It would like just absolutely. Where the magic absolutely. Come together. Yeah. Well, oh, in fact, yeah. Maybe I'm maybe I'm giving subtle negative undertones. I uh, should say that one of God, the, you turn negative. The absolute, just saying. Well, you say something then, you ask. <laughs> the the uh, I'm trying to spin a whimsical sort of moment of loveliness here. Shut up. <laughs> saying that Love one of Peter the, whimsical. One of the uh, the most standout drams I ever had was a Brooklady. It was uh, there was this wee guy behind the, the counter. The place was dead, and he was he just told us straight up, "I can't be bothered with this job. I'm just biding my time till I can get into production." Right. <laughs> so he was pouring us big. Me and my neighbour uh, and then just visiting the place. Yeah. He was over from Glasgow. So he's pouring us big, and whatever we got round to, one of the stupidest ever names for a for a whiskey was, "As the stream flows." Right. <laughs> As the stream flows is the name, not in Gaelic, in English. <laughs> Stupid name, but it was. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know whether it was uh, full maturation or finished. No. Smoked applewood, mm. smoked applewood, and this thing was, and it was too way too expensive for me at the time. But I still smoked went back wood. to try and uh, and get it. Is that and a kind of oak? Out. Is that a kind of oak? Applewood. Huh? <laughs> well, <that>. I look. <laughs> That's true enough. Know. That's true enough. But I, look, yeah. I don't know how Calvados hadn't been made legal yet, so uh, it wasn't one of those. But look, I don't know what they. No, I don't. Know we should mention as well, as well, as guys. We've got viewers that possibly don't know a lot about Brook Laddie, so obviously the information we give them is, is cracking. But there is basically three whiskies they make, isn't there? Because you've got three the Brook Laddie, which is generally unpeated. Three, spir three spirit lines. Yeah. yeah. You've got the Port Charlotte, which is heavy, peated, yeah. heavily yeah. peated. But then you've got the Bulls Out. Heavy yeah. over the top peat of the Octomore. Yeah. So over top, that's, that's a wee bit subtly it's negative me, it's as well. Like, yeah, o Octomore. The well, well, the, effect, the official category is a uh, psycho nutter peating. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Psycho nutter peating. But then that one was like three hundred and sixteen ppm. Three or three hundred seven was the highest they got to. And then they've gone soft. Now pretty like wimpy. Uh, they've wimped out. Now, so yeah. So yeah. But um, but. <laughs> 
hey, they're the biggest employers in the island. Mm. You know, when it's when we're out of these times, when it's full steam ahead there. You've got 100, they're, 100 plus employees. They, they're giving jobs to between 90 and 100 people in this island. Um, were they the they, first for the production the line? First bottling line, yeah. First bottling line. First so bottling line, line yeah. They bottle it um, but now there as well, they're, they're, they're renting film fields from farmers and stuff growing yeah. a lot more of their own barley, so there's a lot more yeah, um, pushing the, the, that's the that's entirely done on, on the island. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot, good, of, lot of local input to it. Um, yeah, I've got got a lot of time for it. Um, a lot of substance to the experimentation. Yeah, it's absolutely. not just gimmicky. Absolutely. Yeah. The, Adam's a superb man. Yeah, yeah, he's a lovely guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic at what he yeah. does. Absolutely. No, it's the, 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 they're very good. Um, yeah. That means I want a free dram when I come down the next time, Adam. So you are. So I'm, you're like, completely uh, right. I, like, I have to go look into that. Was Oh, oh uh, yeah, fair enough. How could it be smoked applewood if it was right? So, But that's, uh, that's what... Oh, I don't know. I, it's not yeah, oak. It's, it's, I thought that was the colour of paint by Dulux. If it's, <laughs> it's not smoked apple. It's Tiffany blue, you say. Yeah, yeah, Tiffany yeah, blue. Yeah. Tiffany blue. See, I'm going to have to Google it's that. Myself. Turquoise. Turquoise is the colour. It's not right? turquoise, is it? Yeah. It's dark. Tiffany, Tiffany blue, blue, clearly. Yeah. I'm going to be a fan. Yeah. Bothers. I'm going to say if you want some more, Dave. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, yeah. Um, the Americans were spying on them. When? The Americans were spying on them and accused them of making um, weapons of mass destruction. Oh, through the through the distilling process. Apparently, a lot of the distilling process could lend itself to um, the making of explosives, or so the story goes. Right. So they then produced when, when a are we bottle. At how long are we talking? This this is this is post closure. This is um, since they reopened. Fifteen years ago, maybe. Oh, right. Okay. What year's this? I can't remember. 20... So, so maybe about 2006, 2007, Why something like that. Why then versus anyone else? Well, you would have to ask yourself that question, but but yes. The link could um, be Tiffany Blue, Tiffany in America. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, they, they were, they were apparently, the FBI were, were um, keeping a close eye on Female them. Female body inspectors. And, and on the, the back of that, they brought out a, a whiskey, um, an expression called WMD. Did they? Yeah, really? which which wasn't weapons of mass destruction. It was whiskey of mass distinction. Mm. <laughs> so another question quickly, you might know. Mm -hmm. Yellow submarine? What's oh, the yeah. link? We've got a, they got a little yellow sub down there. Okay. They I can I can tell you the, the story so to this. Nice and adaptive, like you can basically if yeah, you're, no, I you're can, done three sentence, Colin will change the subject. Yeah, so you no, that's okay. No, it, no, it, leads, it leads on because <laughs> round about the, the same time as, as as whiskey of mass distinction, there were um, there was the Lynx release, which was golf the golf one, yeah. which some which I think was essentially the same whiskey, different labels, maybe mm. been a wee bit unkind there, yeah. a wee bit unkind. This but, will be but, a whole subtle undertone episode. Yeah, but, but yeah. slight variations on... You've got on, a nightmare with the next levels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go through all this research and it'll see Sli how much uh, is true. Slight <laughs> variation on the 14-year-old and, and they just put a picture of... Um, Hoy Lake and a picture of Augusta on it and so on. So. But anyway, yes, the Yellow Submarine. So this is how it happened. There was a fisherman down um, in Portellan, mm. uh, John Baker, and you have possibly worked with his sister. I certainly did, because John Baker is Margaret Hastings' oh, brother. Yeah. So, so John was a as was a fisherman uh, and he was out uh, on his boat and he saw this thing bobbling about in the water this yellow contraption it bobbling about yellow. in the water it was yellow and he was like oh, what's that what's this it's a submarine it's a, it's a, a wee submarine mm. and it's yellow but no no wee people in it i'll have that I'll have that, I think. Yeah. And he, he hooked a, a rope onto it and uh, he could barely shift it. So he got on the, the old ship to shore or the mobile or whatever it was and he contacted Harold Hasty. And Harold went out in his boat and they put a rope on and they took it back to shore. And they put it up 
onto Harold's uh, Hilux pickup onto the back and it filled the back what of the Hilux. 10, 12 foot long, you reckon? Uh, longer, longer, yeah, I would think. Probably overhung feet. it. Yeah, probably about 15 feet long, this thing. But they managed to um, get it craned out of the water and into the back of the Hilux. And I like that bit of thinking for all half of that. Ah, well, so why well, wouldn't you? Well, no, well, it was, it was uh, I think, the first thing that would have gone into John's head was, ooh, salvage. Sure. Yeah. Because I think it's 10% of the total salvage value right, is, uh, is salvage. But anyway, they took it back and they took it away up the road and, <coughs> and Harold stuck it in his garage. And um, he phoned, said on it, property of MOD. You know, I actually had on it the side of it, property of MOD. I knew there was that tie in. That's why yeah. I'm curious why it was yellow. Well, what? What he did was, so, uh, you see it. so you can find it when you lose <laughs> it. <laughs> it's the <laughs> <Dave O'Connor>. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rodney. Um, but, but so, so Harold's at home and he phones fastly in submarine base, and he says, um, <laughs> he says, uh, "Hello, it's Harold Hasty, out on Isla. Can I speak to whoever deals with your lost submarines? <laughs> sure. Mm. What connection do you ask for? Um, all right." Um, they're not actually here just now. Could you phone back later? Uh, yeah, okay. Running I'll, around I'll, like yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> phone, I'll phone back later. Yeah, same number. Yeah, I, I. Okay. So that was the that was the, the initial contact. I want to deal with whoever deals with your lost submarines. <laughs> um, oh, they're not here just now. So, Harold phones back later on and gets a hold of somebody. He says, "Um, says, hello there. Yes, he says." Uh, you, do you deal with the lost submarines? Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you lost a submarine? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh-huh. Uh, no, oh, who's no, not us, not us. Why? <laughs> he says, well, I've found one, and it says property of MOD in the side of it, uh-huh. so I think it must be yours. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not sure. <laughs> Not sure. We'll you need, make we'll it need to sound like phoning the yeah. spa or something. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right, right. Oh, well, uh... So, so this was this was the whole kind of contact, and then it, it sort of escalated. And Brickladdy got wind of the fact that this was happening, and ultimately they sent a minesweeper, I think it was, into Portelland Pier, <coughs> and the captain and some of the crew came onto the pier, came out off off the ship, and. There was a kind of ceremonial handing mm. back of the yellow submarine <laughs> because like Harold drove it down in the back of the pickup down through the village <laughs> to the pier, you know. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's, I it's, it's just it so, I want to give it back. Uh, no, you ain't lost it. That's why I, mean, I haven't found it. It's so, so <laughs> it's so kind of whiskey galore. <laughs> it's it's that, you know? But but glad he had got uh, got wind of it, and they also presented a bottle of whiskey to the captain to commemorate right. the return of the yellow submarine and then on the back of that they brought out a whiskey called the the yellow submarine and i think there was uh, maybe two versions of it right not, not bad, bad is it not bad you want a dram rodney yeah, i mean i know i'm the guest here no but no, no, no you're, 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 you know. on you're on the bar yeah. you're on the bar side tiffany, tiffany blue. blue tiffany blue yes, so tiffany much. blue so uh, that's going to be the new name now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad he'd be going mad. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, Tiffany Blue. <laughs> Tiffany Blue. Oh, oh Jesus. Have you? Have you got any of those, those bottles? Not Tiffany Blue. <laughs> yeah. A classic laddie, that one. Isn't it? The <laughs> yeah. whole blue bottle. Whole I blue hope she's bottle. out there somewhere. I hope she's the <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> Blue. <laughs> we should, we should <laughs> Google that. See if Brickladdy Distillery was the same Brickladdy Distillery from 10 years ago. Right. They would have brought out a bottle with a bird in the front. Sure. Uh huh. Oh, like you know, the old beer cans oh, you used ah, to get. Yeah. To... Yeah. yeah. The, the, oh, tenant, the tenants lag are loveless. Well, I was too young to drink. I just knew about the cans. I remember the guy who used to work in the co op that sung the song, the Brook Laddie Drowned song. Aye. He's still there. Jonesy. Jones, he's, he's, he's still got, there. He's got a couple of bottles for that. Yeah, went, yeah, went yeah. on YouTube or something ah, like that. That's right. A bit of our own. A lovely brook laddie drink. Brook laddie drink. Ah, that was cool. Ah, I wonder if it's still there. Need to, need to I saw it when I was search. working there, so it's probably seven uh, years ago it was still yeah. around. But huh. <laughs> funny, wasn't it? That they got some of the bar managers, F&B mm-hmm. managers from around the island. We went and spent a day at Brook Laddie's. We went out into the field and went and saw the water source and all that sort of I stuff. I didn't realise that it felt to himself as F&B. 
Yeah. 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 Ashley like and Vernon made some cocktails and stuff, which was quite oh, nice. Yeah. She's very knowledgeable with her gins. She, very good. Yeah, she gets so well. Yeah, I'm not see. Well, you can <laughs> just in case cut out. Basically, she's a bit clang. That time you've done on the last episode. <laughs> Every time I mentioned the word chlamydia, it was like, that was cut out and then that's laughing. <laughs> 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 laughing at nothing. Well, making jigsaw episodes, like, if you just caught that clue, dial back a few episodes and you'll find out what they're laughing about. <laughs> here's, a, here's another nice one. Oh, I made a Cosmos, huh? Oh, fuck. Can't believe it. He was a bit comfortable being made a Cosmos. I know, wasn't he? Yeah, like a tip to that. Way too comfortable. Comfortable. No wonder he was good at it. Well, the real Katie Cosmos was instantly, she was... Just helping with that, the amount of uh, stubble. It was like you've not put much effort into this, you know. Uh, she, Mary Cosmos is old enough to let herself uh, go a wee bit. And she, and she has. You guys say anything? You <coughs> what? Your daft song about the bridge afterwards fit perfectly. <laughs> it just it was a pretty unhinged episode. <laughs> the trouble bridge over water, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good old. Yeah, we do appreciate your input, Dave. We appreciate your input, doing your little skits and bits. It's good. The Brickladdy stories. Here's another one for you. The it was in a bit of a state. It was a bit tired. The whole place when when you know they bought it and they were they were getting it reopened. And they were waiting on getting the kind of final sign off and all the rest of it so that they could sort of really get get the place running and they got a visit from the council uh for the, the planning folk mm. and you know or the, the health and safety folk and safety folk and every everybody that was anybody that needed to sign it off and apparently the the head of presumably the head of health and safety or one of these very important departments for the council um, was was a lady who was not small, right? Not small. A bit of a liability in some ways. Though. Well, it's it's, it's a bit harsh to call her a liability, but my uh, ones anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, let it go, brothers. But um, well, to, to to cut to the chase. She fell through the floor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the Which, floor gave way underneath her. The concrete, and, was it? And she fell. <laughs> <laughs> right. and, she, and she fell to the the floor below. Poor so thing. um so yeah. Show a bit of heart, show she a bit didn't, of didn't sign uh, off there and then then. No, I, th I think that <laughs> it, it was given as an advisory. <laughs> sure. We'll flag that one that's so room right. to improve. Maybe have that one fixed by the time I return. Which, right. which will be never. But she was cool about it then. I'll tell you what, right. Right, well, I think we've done them a service today. Should we ever move on and change the subject a little bit? Talk oh. about fish. Oh, you're, look, you're, what? you're a magical man occasionally. Because I'm think I'm sitting here going, if we're if we're doing subtle taps in the nuts for Brickladdy all along here and trying to restore it to something positive, I was exactly going to say absolutely the best fish days that I've known on the island were all Brickladdy. Yeah. And there's well, some nice thought, ones at a few other places. I thought with Dave being here as well, we could talk days. face in general. Yeah. Just get, but Brook Laddie obviously is one of the first yeah. days, isn't it? One of the first ones, Brook Laddie, isn't it? Isn't On the it? Sunday. They have the Sunday, don't they? Are you sure that we'll not have the fish committee soon as to the the, the clouds for, for talking about the fish? Oh, we're not, this isn't it? a fish episode. Well, that's true. Yeah, well, and, and we've not even about, mentioned it, have we? We're talking about experiences. Yeah, yeah. that's that's, that's totally totally that, that sounds, sounds good. good. And that's totally real. There's they're 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 like that com the combination of live music and everyone getting hammered yeah. was perfect at Brooklyn. They have the big curtain Peter side it was, trailer it was up there. Just a the gorgeous band blend. On it. blend. Oops. Here we go. I knew that would happen. I knew that would happen. It's a pretty rickety set. Uh, yeah, the rod is white all this, so I'm, I'm, ah, like, it's quite, I'm a bit more professional. It's, it's quite rustic. If you're going to have somebody that's that's front and wide, you might need. Ah, it's fine. Ah, it's a elbow good. danger. I, oh, no, I, I, but according to these days, 
I've, I've not been to that many because I've tended to be working, to be honest. When they've been on. parking down but, there on, uh, on the strand so they bus you in so it doesn't yeah. clog up the village. It's it's nice. It's a good yeah. organised day. Lots of yeah. gin cocktails and. Yeah, I'm not saying the others aren't good. It's just for some reason it it works on that site. The, yeah. the, the, yeah. Having a stage, big courtyard, the, get the courtyard, the, the, yeah. the kids' band going at like the, the captive uh, audience. You can't, yeah. you can't go anywhere other than in that that yeah. space. Yeah. Cramped two and a oh, half thousand. Oh yeah, yeah, concentrating. Yeah. There's other places you get too strong, <coughs> out, so it's yep. just some stuff happening yeah. over there, but no yeah. real. Uh, getting you all yeah. together. And obviously, like other distilleries, they have the limited release bottles out every year and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just a no. It's 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 a it's a good day out. Mm. Um, Always lucky with the weather for some reason. Yeah, Almost yeah. Well, day, well, well I think that's just... that's Jim McEwen again, isn't it? He, he organizes just that. that touch he, of he has. Well, I hate it because I didn't do it, say it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant. <laughs> I mangled those syllables. I was up. thinking more weather than whatever that word was. You said, <laughs> That's yeah. what I was going for, weather. But but he obviously he obviously has connections with those on a higher plane. Oh, deserve Jimmy. Oh, he right. always has done. Just get him to uh, do And he bakes his own dog thing. biscuits. There you go. All right. Um, I've had enough of Rodney's talking now. Talking pish. Or oh, they will send it outside to somebody. I don't know who it's going to be. Might not be Dave because Dave's already here. We'll probably use some of these snippets later on. Um, but anyway, I think well, it's a thief actually. A thief? Yeah. I not think it's some doing now. Ominous oh, walking down the grounds there. Yeah. The artful dodger pickpocket. Sounds sounds bit naughty. Lifting equipment out in the out in the wild. Oh. oh I get it. Anyway, so we'll hand it over. We'll come back <laughs> so to you shortly, familiar, guys. Yeah. So uh, thanks a lot, guys. We'll catch you shortly. Hmm. Jabby, jabby. Airshire Whiskey Club. So yeah. say hello to them. Hi guys, Dave and all the guys from Airshire Whiskey Club or Whiskey Group, I think they call themselves. I've joined the group now. Hmm. Fantastic. But I got a couple of friend requests on Facebook from some of the guys on that good, within a day or two, which was good. It's good to be in a group. Would you spent the tasting just flogging the attic just so? <laughs> no, they don't, they don't mention it at all. <laughs> don't mention it at all because, well, be like that. That. It don't seem right. And I just know that I'll upset. Conflict of interest yeah, and all that. Yeah, Keen big, ethical the, sense, Colin has. But you know, as you can imagine, we've probably got all our head office probably yeah. watching this drivel. <laughs> <go on in. laughs> yeah, just waiting for, no, waiting no, for what the it'll excuse be, to shut us down. There's like it. a whole mist of like 40, <laughs> 40 higher and middle level execs up there, uh, and there'll just be one prick out there who's addicted <laughs> to the show, and he's just a thorn in everyone's side because he's got enough power to. <laughs> no, I did you? Coming live from yeah. South Africa. Uh, no one else wants us taken out. I will. Well, South Africa will become aware of it, so they will, because I've I've got followers on South African Twitter, and when I start knocking this crap out onto my Twitter feed, they're all going to see it. Go on. Oh, it's stay. Big days I showed Dave the stickers. Got oh the yeah, stickers yeah. With the car, yeah. YouTube logo in it, and then yeah, yeah the guy got on the car. I've not even seen them yet. I got them yesterday. Mm. In the old days, it used to say Colin and Maria. But now it's, oh, it's cool. yeah. <laughs> Did you have one age. of them in your day? You joke on the amount of wives I've had. <laughs> Can't afford to keep changing it, Dave. <laughs> the a sign maker in business. Hey, the bus. Colin. It's all it's all painted on the bus. And uh, this, this this section, Colin <laughs> and, and then after that, it's all just uh, feeding right. letters. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Rachel Riley putting the vowels in the coins in the socket. <laughs> Who have we got this week? <laughs> now, nowadays, I'd have it like it'd be a drop box. You click on it and it drops down all the names you can take your pick. <laughs> I, I couldn't afford to keep changing it, Rod, if they weren't cheap back then. <laughs> trying that Canadian stuff. Do you want a fresh glass? I've got more glasses no, here, Dave. No, I'll get water here. Right. That, that is probably the right idea, though. 
Oh, this is bit. the life. So are we still recording? Is this oh, still? Yeah, yeah. Is this still? Oh, I haven't come back yet. So right, okay. thank you to whoever it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that's what we can't do. We just literally stop it and start again. Um, yeah, right, um, okay, folks, that's us back. Thanks to whoever that was doing whatever they did. As I say, it I might don't not know, Ronnie, don't tell it me. It might so. more be a thing of it's despicable what we've just witnessed. What is? I don't know, but I've got the idea it might, that might be the right sentiment, not thanks, but. Oh, right. Yeah. Naughty, naughty, is it? Mm. All right, then. Do that, that noise, case, do that that noise again, Rodney. I don't know. Do that noise again. You know, always play that. Skippy, Skippy. Try to get me to say. That's our Australian view. That's our Australian viewers. Yeah. Garth, Garth <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> My mate Garth. Aye. Oh, and is it? And then Gemma had a baby not long ago. He didn't. Oh, Gemma did. Gemma. Well yeah. done, Gemma. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. You didn't feel it going in, but you felt it coming out. I don't even want to. Might want to edit that. No. <laughs> No, they it's, just, it's just weird how they landed like just and a They're like the a ones, cold. Garth and Gemma. You remember um, last year, or was it a year before now? Then mum and dad came over and I did a warehouse nine tasting with them. Hmm. And then I went out of drown with them in Isla House and oh, got kicked out. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. When you were all oh, kicked out. Yeah, that was Garth and yeah. mum and dad. Ah, oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Chris and Michelle. Yeah. Brilliant. Funny, but. Yeah, so I got some little drams. I'll send you a few yeah. over, little congratulatory drams, guys. So they'll be on their way. Yeah, that's a nice move. You have a little shout out um, now and again. Yeah, to that's, that's so, if anybody wants to say hello to? Yeah, um, are we still talking to Australia? Anywhere you like. The whole world. Oh, well tuned in. No, we don't, no, we don't have no, many. Well, I'm, people think, in I'm U- thinking U- Australia. I just wanted to say hello to Sydney. <laughs> this is where the magic happens, Dave, up here. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know if we've got set. Although you might have continuity issues now. For so. Because they were up there a minute ago. Well, <laughs> of those 1.4 million fans and whatnot, they have yeah. kind of got used to continuity issues. On <laughs> 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 yeah, there is no continuity because this is our technical expert. There's a hell of a lot of, as I said, just <laughs> cut. <laughs> oh, you can't say that. <laughs> Chlamydia. Very, very yeah. oblique references to dropping the soap and all sorts of things, but no, <laughs> no context given for what we might be on about. This. <laughs> Modern with a slippery finger. <laughs> Can't hold on to a bar of soap, we'll have all that. <laughs> yeah. There's no truth and there is no lies. It's, it's all subjective. It's all just subjective, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Whatever, you, whatever like. you believe. What do you think the attic then, Dan? It's gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. You'd hardly, you'd hardly think there'd ever been a murder committed up here. We haven't got a. I was going to say we haven't got a prisoner rigged up yet. The, the guy <laughs> over in the corner <laughs> giving away. We say it every episode now, but we're going to get an old piss stained mattress. We're going to get a carpet Some rolled up. And a <laughs> carpet rolled up with a pair of shoes hanging out there. <laughs> an old radio with handcuffs yeah. hanging off it in the Car corner. Car battery over something. <laughs> just, just sat there. Do a pan around <laughs> and just ignore it completely, like it's not there. <laughs> Once he sorts his attitude out, we'll you know we'll get someone else up here. <laughs> how about what else have we got about Brickladdy? Um, how about the X four? What X four? Nothing about that. What's that? The quadruple distilled mm. spirit. Mm. That was. I have heard this, but I didn't know it was X four. But that was a, that's another one that they they did. Like green which, neutral spirit a wee bit. Which. Aye, well, it was, it was it was new make, although they kept some of it and, mm. and watered it down, and then they... I, I kind of have to say that's probably the best new make I've ever tasted in my life. It's Bukladi new make. Sorry, I'll cut this back. Up. That was yeah. delicious. Probably the edits. Yeah, it, it's done it. So I know. Cuts all the classic Fucking gold shit. stuff. The I'll listen them. to feedback. That, that bit will be in. Something. We're trying to talk about Bukladi. If they've got gorgeous new make, it's maybe worth mentioning. Well, this stuff, this was the... the no, you don't agree with that? That's not... <laughs> uh, no, that is, it's lovely. Uh, I don't know what the people want. Um, um, <laughs> all, this fame, t- all this fame, all this power of 1.4 million. Yeah, really I've lost interested. touch with what people love. I <laughs> 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 can really uh, taste the strawberries in this bastard. We digest it. Paul, now you're going to message again. Um, aye, aye, so back to this quadruple distortion. So four, X4, X4. Four, X4. Four. Um, that was another... Brilliant piece of work from Bricklady to get free publicity. If, was it was it a Stillman making a mistake? 
No, no, no. It was a, absolutely. The... They they'd found a recipe from the old Port Charlotte Distillery. Mm. Now, not the one that was built in 1929. Or did it close in 1920? This, is, this, <laughs> this was from the 1600s. Oh. <coughs> 1695 or something like that. They found this bit of paper with this recipe. Nice. For, for quadruple distilled spirit. Mm. So that's what they did. They ran it through the still four times. And the new make spirit came out at 91.4% mm -hmm. alcohol. Mm -hmm. And it was announced, oh, we've made this triple, this quadruple distilled spirits, 91.4%. And the newspapers went ballistic at this. How, how could they do this? This is, this is just so bad. You know, oh. we, we're, a, we're a country oh, that's, that's strong. Oh, yeah, a massive mental. That's ridiculous. It's just interesting. No, no, it was perfect. Because if it had just been interesting to a few folk, ah, right. then there'd be no publicity. But if you manage to create a massive furore, yeah. <laughs> then you're in every newspaper in the country. Controversy sells paper. No, no, absolutely does. bad publicity. That's it. And, and that's how it worked. Like I say, eventually they, they watered it down. They bottled it at 50%. They sold it as X4. <coughs> I had it in the Macri, eh, not the Macri, in the, the, the Lockside Gantry. Eh, the 50 percent then they brought out x4 plus one which was uh, done a year in cask mm -hmm. and it was the the color of the color of lump piss you know but it was um slightly more drinkable um and then eventually also the new maker is not a more drinkable than piss i think you mean uh, sure lump uh, piss piss and non -limp. <laughs> You know exactly what it is. Uh, so uh, you uh, see uh, the uh, colour uh, of that. Uh, That's the diff really well the difference is in, in the wet, but um, on the seat. <laughs> Your name doesn't look half as good in the snow when they piss. Anyway, yeah. But the other thing that that then <laughs> brought on was that brought around the more uh, television coverage hmm. for them because they then had the visit of um, Ollie Clark and James May. That's right, yeah. Ah, of course, with that car. They came with the, uh, um, what do you call it again, the, the wee sports car. Yeah. The Radical. Yeah. Radical sports car, mm. which <coughs> they rather somewhat illegally shut the road along the Skintui Strand. Well, well, that wasn't legit? No, no, it Everyone wasn't was legit. In favor of it, wasn't legit. Yeah, I know, but, but, you know, road closure doesn't just happen because you want to run a racing Council, car please yeah Her Majesty's Road. so but anyway so that they, they supposedly fired some of this x4 spirit into the radical supposedly and, and drove it up and down the road oh yeah yeah for legal reasons yeah, so should, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. so there um, goes uh-huh uh and and that made it onto the telly yeah. they both annoy me them too well i was i was working at the macro at that time and that's where they stayed and Oz Clark is a lovely guy, a oh, gentleman. He's the wine man. He's the wine. He's the wine, not a wine. I know, I know that. But um, no, I like him. But but he was brand new. He he sat yeah. at the bar. I was working behind the bar. Right. He sat at the bar, and he showed a lot of interest for the island. A um, mm, lot of genuine, a really really nice guy. I I was going to say I could have talked to him all night. I did talk to him for a long time. Mm. Really nice, James May. Wishy washy, any. I was thinking of another word that started with W. I thought it started with A. Anchor, yeah. No, Anchor sure starts with A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> numbers are unimportant. That's it. Except for the number of subscribers. That 1.4 means something to us. I know, and 144 million, so sorry. It's a good advert for Warehouse oh. number 9. That's... Ah, yeah. You are, yeah. You're doing a bit of promotion there for quite, for, where is it? Quite a half. Uh, we're on here. here pretending to be impartial. Uh, Not really, we don't. We always mention that we work there because we, like I say, we talk to them while turkey yeah. and you mention, oh, that's the cast we have. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we do mention it. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, we don't have a bad word to say about but it. But look, that's the yeah. truth of the thing is that on the on the ground floor, everyone's just proud of Isla. Mm. And, and everyone's Absolutely. using the same casks. So, you know. Mm -hmm. I've, I've constantly said, I've said it many a time and for, for many a year now, that it gains nobody 
anything if any one of the distilleries is having a bad day. Absolutely. Yeah. We're all just in this game together. And we have a wee laugh, um, kind of having a pop at some of the other ones. But, but yeah, you know. Banter, isn't it? It's, just it's, it's, banter. it's just a bit of a laugh. And the last thing we want to hear is somebody going somewhere and having a bad time at one of the distilleries. Yeah. Well, we're having a laugh a little bit at the... Well, the Tiffany Blue isn't really laughing at them. And some no. of the daft marketing going on, but that's you two laughing what, at me. What's left yeah. behind that is just the whiskey's good at Brooklyn. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's what it yeah. Was. Bottom line is what what you're drinking. What's mm. it like? Is it decent enough? There's no, some question marks over Carola, to be honest. We'll we'll see when we get to that. I but, think that know. nobody, no distilleries on either make a bad whiskey. They're not always to your taste, mm -hmm. but they're not. Yeah, that seems slippery. That seems. Uh, that seems yeah, no. that's well, I think it is. Shut your face, you knob. <laughs> that's, all, that's over the top, man. It's kind of. I know you try to keep the episodes. I know it's kind of tight and focused. It's kind of even when you're wrong, you're right. What's that one you said? Johnny's saying, "What is it?" Oh yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd rather be wrong than quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much says everything for you. That's right. <laughs> Me in it. <laughs> Peg. <laughs> But that's what he did. And, and and the strange thing was, only maybe about two weeks after that incident, his dog was found running about. At the end of the road. At the end of the road. Uh, so on the from from road. the house and, and down oh, the... Alistair. Here, he, uh, uh, no, I, down, down towards Port Haven, his dog was found oh, running about it. outside that particular house. Hmm. Um, but not him, though. Oh God no! Just no, no, just the dog. Just, just the, the dog. dog. Uh -huh. Just the dog. So, um, so that dog had found its way from Edinburgh all the way just across and got a ferry. Or not Grenada? No, maybe it came from from Grenada. Um, when are they? Which, I, to... which apparently is a tax haven. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and they're unconnected because dogs don't pay taxes, so that's not <laughs> oh, related. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's, oh, right. Yeah, tax haven. There's no implication yeah. there whatsoever. No. Just... Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, so I'm sure that I'm glad that switched off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not being yeah, funny, but people need to be called on this shit. Well, he does that. Uh, he's always been above the law. Whoever it is I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit that out. Let's leave it. What about controversy? What, what you should do? I'll do that's, that's the intro screen. That's the intro screen. I'll super slow mo that. Well, what you should do is not put any of that story of Okay, <laughs> like, okay yeah. name no. no comment. Yeah, leave it alone. Uh, We've got that that evil. Uh, Be careful, yeah, that, Dave. What he does, he edits it. You go like that, and he says, "And that's for you, Ben Mar." <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it didn't say that. Oh, well, no, no. like, <laughs> twist it and upset all your mates because he ain't got any. <laughs> Yeah, my instincts for controversy is better to keep the mark attached to that. Yeah, I think we've <laughs> come up more views of the <laughs> flame war or something it's called, I think. Who? That's an internet speak for battle. When you flame war. You type at each other nasty things. He's, he's a lot bit more dumb than us. I don't think it's that. I think he's got no like, life. He just sits <laughs> there. A decade closer to, to the flame millennials, war. whatever they are. <laughs> We're Generation X, Dave. And we yeah. said, well, do you we... remember all that skateboarding you used to do? Yeah, do you know, don't take the piss. My first skateboard was made out of an old roller skate. You know, remember the one that used to get the, used to get the leather strap? That's that some weak post-war shit right there. And my dad got it and he hammered the bit to go around the back bit there. He hammered it flat. Turned on down, oh, yeah. screwed it to a piece of wood and we turned on another piece of wood. <laughs> and me and my brother got a skateboard each that one pair of roller skates. So don't take the piss, that was fucking, that was my tech, mate. We thought we was American when yeah, doing that. I'm in California, eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sucky bastard. Leaf, fucking leaf garret. <laughs> and he's like, leaf garret. <laughs> That's quality, that was. Oh, you would have needed That's, as a blonde mullet. <laughs> well, I had the I had the blonde fro when I was a kid. I think that's child abuse, really. Looking back now, if they did that to you now. We'll see. Were you ginger afro when you were running around? I was, say, I was like one of the white ones out of Jackson 5, but that was Michael in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> we didn't mention midgets tonight. 
they've, they've come near the surface, but you haven't uh, you haven't run with any of that. Yeah. You've been good. You've been behaving well, yourself. Yeah. I'm doing well. This is the peated one, you see. Dave. Oh, all right, clever. See, we've got a D, <laughs> a D for peated. D, D for peated. <laughs> <laughs> I think That's you're right. just being polite now. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you cleaned up the spider's webs. Aye, the bits what, directly above your head. <laughs> Any ones that are going to fall Aye. into your glass. <laughs> That's for you. Right. I put this on there thinking it might reflect a bit of light, but it hasn't really done much, I don't think. But yeah, it's nice. But we had it with the first few episodes, it was playing about with the light so yeah. much when it trying to get <laughs> some kind of. Yeah, this is us well advanced. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is, like, this is us professional expertise. now. It's <laughs> fucking great. I love this. I'm having a great time. There was a Japanese fella that built a replica of the Harbour Inn bar in his house. That's dedicated. That's dedicated, isn't yeah, it? You have the staff there with a fag in their mouth leaning over it. It old Morig. No Morig. In the corner. Morig, Morig was the, the loveliest barmaid. Ever. Um, <laughs> that's that's, that's, no, it's not. No, it's, she was absolutely fantastic. And the real um, deal. That's. Uh, did you just fall? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> well, I, that out, but, uh, I, I bet you'd include that one. I'll just keep it in the audio version. Aye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of burbs I give up with it. <laughs> but, but no, Morag was, uh, you know, the Vatican. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pope lives, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Morig was the Vatican's mother, um, and she was barmaid in the, the Harbour Inn when it was a decent pub. Mm. Well, um, a local pub before they took everyone local. Proper, aye. Aye, proper pub. Uh, it was a great pub in the day. I saw one of the locals in there. It was in. It was in drink at some point. Mm. They were trying to reclaim the place. But he was standing there, hammered out of his mind, <coughs> and, he's, and he's going. He's saying things in Gaelic mm. and then going, What? I wish it's like the Japanese folks. What? You don't your problem, you don't speak Gaelic. <laughs> what? You don't understand what I'm saying. That, that was his move, you know, to try and get back the territory. Aye. Oh, right. It's that Foxham. I think Foxham with Gaelic. Aye. Just a, one of these ones that looks like we spade. I'm getting into that, uh, that uh, tablet popcorn. You want that, that open? The munchies, I wish you'd have another go at these things because they're delicious. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not any... having much success with these bastards. Food tears. I've got the last one of them, Dave. Oh, it's two in there. I'll have one of them. Is that all right? I touched it on the other way, Cheers, mate. Leave me one of my pieces. Well, I've kind of filled my first okay. piece into it. What is it? Yeah. Popcorn. What flavour is it? Tablet flavour. Tablet flavour. Apparently, Rod has filled his fist. Uh huh. No, I'll get yeah. back into it in a second. Take long. Mm -mm -mm. We should get one of the cameras really close and have the sound effects of us all munching on different food. Mm. <laughs> Bean time at the zoo. Yeah, you got a vague notion this episode sort of lost focus by this point. Did I read somewhere as well that every panda in the world belongs to China? Belongs to. Mm. Like is, is the property of. Oh. Like those pallets you were talking about, those blue pallets. Yeah. <laughs> Who do they belong to? Check. C-H-E-P, check. The blue palettes belong to the company. Aye. The popcorn, all right. It's a nice popcorn. Yeah, it, sounds yeah. it sounds good. Yeah. It's nice nice to put some food with some drink. <laughs> yeah. I had lunch today. I had hot dogs. Yeah? I had a tin of hot dogs. Eight sausages. Just to eat. Mm. <laughs> a tin. <laughs> huh? No one knew you were just, fat. Just forking them straight out of the tin. <laughs> oh no, I had two rolls. So I just put four in each roll and then... <laughs> All of how classy this is. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a heathen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, master chef. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my pal, my, yeah, Laura, nearly won MasterChef. I say she nearly won it, she was fourth. She was in it, that's amazing. Aye, she was in the running, fourth, yeah. aye, aye. That was pretty good. Good on her. So, hello, hi well down, Laura. In case you're sad enough to watch this. I know. That's good. I'll maybe tag her in just so, you know, if you can yeah. stick it into something, you know. <laughs> don't, oh, don't tell him that. 
<laughs> so put me out. <laughs> Actually makes me a bit sick because she mm -hmm. comes forth in a fucking cooking thing and that's really what she's good at. She's a musician, she's a jazz. Um, yeah, jazz, jazz people musician. have just got skills. Uh, uh, yeah. Just, uh, a bit like myself, yeah. Uh, just so many skills it's hard to focus on which one to ah, actually yeah, get no. good at. What will I be good at? Will I... To be fair, I always come first. <laughs> 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 I like how we let... Yeah. We, 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 if, we, if we drunk less, we could have uh, let that hang for 30 seconds. Imagine what I'd be like if I was drunk. Being bigger than I feel. <laughs> no, you turned nice when you were drunk the other day. So started getting serious. Like, what, last time? I think your line was something along the lines. I'm not a, I'm not a, like a, a clownish tit all the time. You know, sometimes I'm actually curious about something. I think that's what you were saying. What? That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Almost poetic. Because I was sort of taken aback by the uh, sincerity yeah, no. of your question. <laughs> that's the trouble. When I ask honest <laughs> questions, people don't fucking believe me. Don't I'm taking a piss all the time. I'm kind of affected by that. <laughs> Lovely. It's a heartwarming story. Uh, brings a tear to your leg. No. <laughs> <laughs> That was your line. That was a beautiful line. I can't remember. I'm sorry, I'm making a shit of this, but it was some story you're telling. You just dropped it in gently and said, I'm not a dry seat in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Didn't this what happened last time? I lost the whole lot. Nah. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure that any of this stuff's going to be... Gold, is it? You're surprised. Yes. It's a low quality show. They <laughs> 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 they don't overrate us too much, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it all goes in. So <laughs> after you, George, you're still running on. I don't know. Box has turned itself off. Better no, laugh if my camera saves the day. All right, guys, that's about it for this episode. I think we're going to wrap it up. I think I'm recording, am I? Can anybody see? Level of professionalism. It's like the fucking BBC day. <laughs> so that's it for Brook Laddie. We'll um, we'll get these uploaded. We've done justice to Brook Laddie. Yeah, we have. We've, we've, yeah, we've covered. We've this. done a cracking job on that. I reckon. I think we might. They may even try poaching us for work. Ed Hunting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they can't have me head, they can have the yeah. rest of me body. Nothing going to sell us um, like so this. Anyway, we'll um, stay tuned, we'll get this edited at some stage, Rod, as well, so we'll get yeah, this up on one. and then you'll be able to watch it. We'll probably have some up at the end of this just to play it out. And... Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and that's... <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Right, no. <laughs> Forgot. Uh, um, yeah, so, um, and then we'll get the blowers out <laughs> as well and we'll we'll see you again sometime. What's going to be next? We'll find out on blowers. That's nice. From behind the scenes, can you kind of see how the finished product emerges? I'm amazed. <laughs> absolute clap track I am amazed. I know. <laughs> but it's been lovely. Yeah, Aww. thanks for coming in, Dave. That's been lovely. Been a cracker, mate. Mm -hmm. Been nice having you in the attic. We'll get you in again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then, absolutely. Um, then can, we'll be... Uh, next time, can we do it without cameras? Mm -hmm. Just get... Oh, we practice first. Ah, pushed. Yeah. Oh, hidden cameras. Okay, deal. <laughs> And congratulations on getting up the ladder. It was a pleasure. It was. It, was, it went smoothly. Uh, yeah, well. Going down might be different. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so over to you. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to <clears throat> subscribe. Is down here somewhere. Something. You do a wee nipple tickle at every time you're doing <laughs> yeah, for the it's subscribe. A it's, it's a circle. It's a circle of me and you in a in a circle. That's, click on that. That subscribe. Over this side somewhere else. There'll be a square and that will link you onto yeah. other episodes. So Do you please know that like that, and subscribe. That doesn't work. Why well, don't? It's never there. It is. Put, it is no. not watch it. When you do that, I never see the, that so thing. at the end. Never comes the up. End. No. Not a chance. Bastards. It does. YouTube's been cheating me all along. I put it does. <laughs> hours of work putting into those bastard links. It's there. Don't listen to him. Oh. <laughs>
Rock and roll.